Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into a massive development that could change the game for NEO and potentially take its stock to new heights. We're talking about groundbreaking progress in NEO's autonomous driving capabilities, the strategic ramp up in Envo L90 production, and how all of this could eventually push NEO toward a trillion dollar valuation from their unique chip technology to how they're reshaping their marketing strategy. This is a defining moment for NEO that could set it apart from every competitor. Let's unpack everything in detail. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. So, let's start with what could easily be one of the most bullish signals for NEO investors, the Envo L90. The production lines are not just active, they're running at full throttle. There's a noticeable surplus of Envo L90s already manufactured and waiting for delivery. NEO clearly learned from its past misstep with the ET5 launch, where demand was high, but supply wasn't ready. This time around, they've turned the tables. The 800,000th car to roll off the production line was none other than the Envo L90, showing how much emphasis they're placing on this model. And here's the kicker deliveries could begin as soon as next week. Yes, it's that close. This is massive. NEO isn't just planning, they're executing. Vehicles are produced, inventories are stocked, and logistics are in motion. It's a complete reversal from the ET5 scenario, and it signals a new era of operational maturity for the company. On the sales and marketing front, NEO is also shifting gears in a smart way. They've adopted a focused, grassroots-style outreach strategy targeting high-end residential communities directly. Instead of waiting for customers to walk into showrooms, NEO is bringing the experience to them. Their team arranges exclusive test drive sessions within affluent apartment complexes, offering mini incentives and curated introductions to the vehicle. It's an intentional, niche-targeting approach that puts the Envo L90 directly into the hands of potential premium customers right where they live. This kind of localized, hands-on marketing could boost conversions and create deeper brand connections. Now, let's get into what might be the most compelling part of this story NEO's autonomous driving breakthrough. During a recent series of autonomous vehicle tests, NEO's performance stood out not just as good but exceptional. In a test scenario where multiple vehicles were placed in complex traffic situations, NEO was the only brand to pass the entire test flawlessly. Here's what made the test so challenging. A leading vehicle suddenly moved out of the way at high speed, revealing a stationary car directly ahead, a classic real-world hazard. Most driving systems would fail to respond quickly or correctly. To make matters more difficult, the left lane was occupied with traffic, so the only correct maneuver was a hard brake or recalibration of the vehicle's distance. Any miscalculation here could lead to a serious collision. What did NEO's system do? It reacted swiftly, anticipated the obstacle early, maintained safe distance, and demonstrated intelligent restraint. While others failed NEO's ES6, powered by their in-house developed NWM NEO World Model System nailed the test with impressive accuracy. This moment proved that their AI-driven autonomous platform is not only viable but potentially market-leading. Let's break that down a bit more. NEO's success here is rooted in its proprietary AI software and the NX9031 chip both developed in-house. Unlike many competitors who rely on third-party hardware like NVIDIA's Thor chip, NEO has full-stack control over its autonomous driving technology. The NWM system leverages predictive modeling to anticipate what the traffic environment will look like seconds into the future, using real-time data, and it's working. This success puts NEO in a completely different league. Until now, brands like AITO with Huawei-backed systems were considered top tier in the Chinese market. In fact, most rankings placed Huawei at the top of the autonomous hierarchy. That NEO was able to outperform them in a test like this, shocking and revolutionary. It's also worth noting that NEO historically wasn't viewed as a leader in self driving. The brand has always enjoyed strong consumer satisfaction in terms of build quality and post sale service, but autonomous tech wasn't its strength. This successful demonstration flips that narrative. 
And this brings up a larger question for the industry should other automakers start adopting NEO's chip technology or even license the NWM platform. Given the consistent delays and supply shortages in NVIDIA's Thor chips, something that's already impacted Li Auto's release schedule, this is a legitimate question. For example, the Li Auto i8 was delayed significantly because of limited access to the Thor chip. They had to roll out a limited version that doesn't offer full autonomous capabilities. This bottleneck proves how risky it is to rely on third-party chip makers. Meanwhile, NEO doesn't have this problem. Their chips are in production, they're already in vehicles, and they're functioning at a high level with advanced AI support. That kind of vertical integration where hardware and software are both controlled by the same company is rare in the automotive world. And now, it's proving to be a major competitive advantage. When NEO initially introduced the NWM system, it wasn't flawless. Early adopters noted a few bugs, particularly in urban settings with lots of parked vehicles. The system would get too cautious, predicting too many possible outcomes, and at times hesitated unnecessarily. But that's clearly changed. The recent test results show a far more polished, intuitive system ready for real-world deployment. The bigger takeaway here is strategic. If NEO can continue to build and prove this tech, they're not just another EV manufacturer. They become a tech licensing powerhouse. Just like how companies license chip architecture from ARM or Qualcomm, NEO could license their NX9031 chip and NWM software to other automakers struggling with delays or poor autonomous performance. That shift from being just a car maker to being a hardware software platform provider could unlock significant new revenue streams. Licensing chips and AI systems is a high margin business. And if NEO plays its cards right, they could dominate a segment that is only just beginning to grow. This is the kind of innovation that justifies a $650 plus share price in the long term and even opens the door to trillion dollar market cap discussions. So, let's recap what we've just covered. NEO is not just producing more cars, they're producing smarter cars, faster. The Onvo L90 is lined up, ready for delivery, and backed by an entirely new customer engagement strategy that meets premium buyers where they live. At the same time, NEO's autonomous driving platform is proving to be not only viable, but arguably better than Huawei's or anyone else's currently in China. The homegrown NX9031 chip and NWM AI platform aren't just a technological win, they represent a long-term opportunity for licensing, profitability, and industry leadership. And when competitors are facing delays due to chip shortages or underperforming software, NEO has a solution that's already on the road. This is why some investors are eyeing a $650 plus valuation in the long term. It's not just about building cars anymore, it's about building the future and leading it. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.